Hi, for this video what we're going to do is we're going to create a bar chart and a Pareto chart. Um, both of these types of displays are used for categorical or qualitative data. Um, this is data that you can't really do math with. All you can do is counts. Um, a bar chart is different from a histogram in the fact that it has spaces in between each of the bars. A histogram, the only spaces or gaps that you should have is if you have zero in there. Um, a Pareto chart is a specific type of a bar chart um, where you order the data from the greatest frequency to the least. So I'm going to start by creating a bar chart. The information that we have are these are the types of lenses that people wear in a sample of a thousand. So a thousand people were asked which type of lenses they used and this was the information that we got. So when we're setting this up you can do a frequency bar chart or you can do a relative frequency. I'm just going to do a frequency. Um, the relative frequency, all you would have to do is convert this to a percent. And over here on the left hand column, instead of labeling it as frequency, you would label it as relative frequency. Um, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to set up my labels. So this is going to be the frequency F. Um, up here, I'm going to title this as the type of lenses so that anybody looking at it will realize that of the people that we polled, um, what type of lenses they would have. For this one, I'm going to count by 100 since it goes up to 570 is the highest frequency. So I'm going to count by 100s. You always want to make sure um, that you set up your chart so that anybody looking at it can see exactly what it represents. And then what you are going to do is you're going to just simply draw a bar for each of them. So for the contacts, I have 40, so I would go less than halfway up. And so this would be my contacts. And then I would label down here contacts. And like I said, you do want to have a gap. So for eyeglasses, um, we would start here and then 570 would probably be about right here. I'm just eyeballing it. A lot of times it's better to do um, computer software. They're going to give you a much better display. Um, they're much better at drawing. So this would be eyeglasses. Both would come next. I'm just going for this one. I'm just going simply down the list. This is just a regular bar graph. Um, it doesn't matter what order you put it in. So 180. This would be both. And then the last one would be 210. And you try to keep your widths about the same. It's very important to not violate the area principle. You want to make sure that the area for each is approximately the same. Um, but this is just a general bar chart that's using the frequency um, in, or the counts or the frequency as my y-axis. For a Pareto chart, you follow exactly the same thing. You would still label it type of lenses. But with a Pareto chart, it has to be ordered from greatest frequency to least. Um, so this would still be my frequency on this side. I'm still going to count by the same thing. You would set it up exactly the same way. But here it's important that you start with the category that has the most in it. So since the glasses was the category that had the most in it, since the glasses had 570, um, that's what we would have to start with in the Pareto chart. So with the Pareto chart, you always start with the highest first. So since 570 was my highest, we would put glasses first. The category that came next was the none, and that they didn't wear either was 210. So we would just go with that one next. So 210 would be our next category. For 
followed by both, and so our both was 180. And then our least frequent um, one that we had was contacts. And so contacts was 40. So you can see from um, using the Pareto chart, it really emphasizes which one occurs the most often and which one occurs the least often. So um, this might be for like profits. So you can see which type of um, thing is selling more and that would be what you would want to emphasize. Um, where the other one is dealing more, um, the order isn't important. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or need other topics, please let me know.